Is your Evernote account a little bit out of control? Or every time you open an Evernote account of yours, you feel a bit overwhelmed? Is your digital life scattered all over Evernote and web? Or do you lack a single spot within your Evernote account where you can go and have access to most of your notes which you want it every day or every week? How about your Evernote account acts as a hub which can give access to you to the most important of your notes by the click of your mouse button? If all the above is true, then you need an Evernote dashboard. A dashboard like a car dashboard, which provides you information right in front of you to the most important information you want. So today, I'm going to talk about Evernote dashboard and how to create those dashboards in multiple different ways, which can improve your overall workflow within your Evernote account and also improve on your navigation. So without any further delay, let's get to the tutorial for creating dashboards in Evernote. What you're looking at it is my personal Evernote account. I've created one note over here called as dashboard tutorial. Let me go over here and put it to my shortcuts, which comes over on the left hand side and it's easily accessible for any work what I'm doing today. The first thing which we are going to use today is create a dashboard using the note links. Here are some multiple notes, some sample notes, which I've kept out here. Here's one note which I would like to access and read it, this article later on, which is talking about creating ergonomic workspace out here, an article on that. So the easiest way to create a dashboard using the link is, I'll go here, right click and copy the note link. I'll go back to my dashboard out here and I'll say, so I've entered this text. And if you recall, I already copied the link to this note. I'll select it, right click, go all the way down somewhere in between and say add, or you can use command K or on Windows control K and just paste this out here. So, it's as easy as this. This text what we entered has become a link and if I click on it, it will take me to that article. Let me do a couple of more things so that it's easily accessible for you and you can understand it more. So if I go on the right hand side, there are some websites I have, let's say this is the Evernote blog, which uh, these people write about latest developments and some guides out here. So I'll select this, I'll go back to my dashboard, do the same thing, select, do Control K, Control V for paste. And now if I select this, it will open my Evernote blog. Similarly, you can create various different links on this dashboard for various external websites, what you access. Some of the examples are like Google Calendar or some news websites like CNN or Fox News or any uh, blogs what you are reading, any to-do lists which you have internally within Evernote, any plans you have created for the year 2020, any goals you have in any of the notes, you can do all that. Now let's get to the second part where we are going to create a dashboard using table of contents. Let me go back to my sample notes which are here. I have these four notes as samples and what I can do over here is I can select all these notes, all these four notes and I'm trying to come up with a way that I should create one link where I can access all these four nodes 
in one shot. Over here, you see create table of contents. I just click on this and I have the table of contents created out here for all these four nodes. So these table contents, as you are seeing, has all the four nodes out here. Now I can do exactly the same thing. I can right click and copy the link for the table of contents node and go over here, you see, for notes. Select it, paste over here. So now you see what happens if I click this link, it will take me to the table of contents, not to the specific notes, but a note which has been converted into a table of content, which has all these four notes out here. So this is another quick and easy way how you can create. Now the third part, which I wanted to show it to you is using the table feature. This is really interesting and I'll show you some of the beautification ways or do customizing the entire dashboard, which is pleasing to the eyes and becomes really attractive. So I can create a table. Let's say I'll just do one column right now just to give you a quick example and I can start adding links out here so here's your table now I can always make this a little attractive out here. And I'll tell you why I selected one column. It has a great advantage because as you are aware, Evernote is cross-platform and you can have access to this thing anywhere on your iPads, on your phone, on Android or iOS device. So it's easier to look into your phone with one column. But that doesn't stop you. You can create these columns horizontally. So one more thing which I want to do here is I'm calling this as Pixabay. Pixabay is a website where you can have access to millions of images and pictures free of cost. So what I want to do here is I have this dashboard created with the different links and select this link out here create one access to that web page over here on the same dashboard and I've pasted the link and I say okay and here is the link so if I click on Pixabay I go over here and the Pixabay site opens now I want to add some images to my dashboard or maybe one image to my dashboard Dashboard is generally relatable to a car. Go back and paste this. I can always adjust this and see. Now you have a dashboard ready with all the picture according to your choice and the dashboard. The best part about these dashboards is that you can go as creative as you can. There are various different types of dashboards which are floating around in this space. And you can look at it right away. These are different types of dashboards which folks are creating within dashboard. One thing which I just wanted to mention out here, there was a dashboard creating contest which was organized by Evernote a few months back. And uh, I participated in that. So. If you check out the website of uh, Stacy Harmon, Stacy Harmon is an approved certified consultant for Evernote. And she selected uh, one of the dashboards what I created. I'll provide the link for that also. So you can check it out and see the dashboard what I created. Evernote does not allow to create a link and then create a dashboard from a notebook. So if you have a notebook, like I created a notebook dashboard tutorial, you cannot right click on that and copy the note link. 
that's one thing. Second thing is once you have table of contents, let's say within table of contents, you have four notes like I did it. If you add a fifth note within those table of contents, the table of content does not get updated. Now to mitigate that, there is a website by the name of Filterize. I'm going to leave a link to this also. Filterize is a great tool. They have a paid option or a premium option, but you can use it, the free version where they allow you to create three note links for creating dashboards and it automatically updates your table of contents. So you don't have to recreate the TOCs or the table of contents every time you add a note. So at some point of time, I will definitely do a tutorial on that also, but I thought I'll just mention out here. So thank you so much. I hope you liked the tutorial and it is helpful to you uh, in future and you start creating some creative dashboards. Once again, this is Anshul Kumar from Next Gen Digital and I provide rich and meaningful content and YouTube videos on uh, digital transformation, productivity and helping the community to be staying productive. If you're new to this channel, please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon for further notifications. Thank you so much.